So you're going to want to watch this entire video to get the context. And I'm going to show you another video to show where he's showing that this is what he's carrying, the color and everything. Just say. You hear that? Did you hear that? And did you see that? That's what he's carrying right in his waist. Okay. Right there at the corner, yellow and black. What is up at Ticket Mail? And earlier today we covered and talked about Dre Johnson or Sean uh, Reed and some pretty interesting things that was sent to me on Facebook. By the way, thank you to the people on Facebook that trust me. And I'm going to show you that he actually was carrying that day during the live stream. A lot of people might not like that. That's why sometimes people get upset with me, but I'm really not here to push or interested in any kind of narrative or bias. And I think that's why sometimes people reach out to me. Um, I'm going to show you that uh, he previously used this weapon. You can see in other videos, the same color gun, yellow and black. And uh, before we get into that, he was in the military. Uh, he graduated in spring of 2018. They said he was a good guy. You know, his parents, his friends, the, uh, um, his teacher, they all said he was good. You know, a funny guy, a class clown. Uh, they said good at heart. You know, uh, what I thought was interesting, though, was here when they said social media knew one version of Reed and that's he created a hard persona. But that's not the person he was in person, you know, and that's what I talked about early in the live stream. I think sometimes, especially young people, they're showing off maybe and trying to put on a persona online. I get it. Uh, and we also talked about previously in many other videos where the young people are going online and doing these acts and it's getting them in trouble. Now, here's another picture. It's a nice picture. What the police said is that the weapon that was used at the scene or that was found on scene match weapons that he already had in social media. And this is what I talk about all the time with young people, you know, to chill out with that. That's why I wouldn't condone that. People that condone that really don't care about your best interest. Um, it also says ballistic evidence points to both parties shooting uh, the weapons. Okay. Uh, so let me show you the pictures and then I'm going to show you the video. So this is what he had in his waistband. You can see here the yellow and black which would be his weapon. Another picture, yellow and black, and his hip waist, like in his little, you know, his shorts. It's also possible that this might have been that weapon in the scene here. And some people were telling me this earlier. You know, um, Barbara told me that earlier she believed there's a weapon. Well, let me show you this video that somebody sent me, and I'll let you be the judge. Okay, before I play it, let me just show you a still of it. Right there. What color is that? With the extended yellow and black, right? Yellow and black. Let me play it for you. And this is reckless. Some Somebody was telling me, oh, how can you say earlier the driving that he was doing and getting out around? Like, how, how can you say that's reckless? I mean, this right here on video two is reckless. What else do you call it? You know, I have to be honest. It's not about um, making somebody feel nice. You know, yellow and black. You know what I'm saying? And you got to wonder about the people that are around him. A lot of times it just sucks with the youth that they're around people. I used to be around people that weren't the best for me either when I was younger. And I would always get into trouble in situations. And then maybe you're going to be like, and maybe there's some people thinking, oh, well, maybe that's just somebody else and it's not his. Well, if you go to his Facebook on Sean Reed, it's right there. Okay. I'm not saying that he deserved to pass away. Okay. But I'm saying is that it looks like he really did have a weapon and it's quite possible that maybe he was firing back. This is something else that I wanted to show you guys. Um, Cause I was wondering, and we were asking in the live stream, we're just asking questions, right? Why did he get out and run? Why was there a supposed chase and all this stuff, right? He would, he could have just stayed inside and maybe things would have been better. Well, somebody sent me this message from Facebook. Okay. And you know, you know, it's, just, I haven't been able to verify whether he has warrants or not. Uh, some people thought that the car was hot. Uh, somebody said, I can't see the whole message. Just put that down on a car. Instead, they always want to put it on into the next car. He says, hello, I don't got no license and I got warrants. So I always had to be able to get out a car and run. And not that I give a F uh, if it's mine. I wasn't going to do no running. That's why I be in Stolos. OK, this is why I talk about social media and how dangerous it is. Now, a lot of people, you know. This, I think this is why a lot of people unsubscribe from my channel and they get upset with me because they don't want you to talk about this stuff, you know, but I just, I have to talk about it. It's the truth or whether people want to get upset, unsubscribe, dislike all this stuff. 
you know what I'm saying? This kind of stuff too is very uh, damaging to somebody when they put this stuff on there, you know, and I've done stuff too on social media that I shouldn't put out. But that tells you a lot right there. Two final things. And uh, I mean, I'm sure there's so much more to the story, but it seems like he was having problems with a female in February. The place that he was shooting at might have been around where this chick was staying. This is from February 26. It says, listen, Sean, I'm sorry. I just can't see myself being with you. You're too much for the media. He said, OK. And then the video where he's seen shooting. This was a couple days before February 23rd. He says, me, where you at, shorty? Her at my best friend's house, smoking with her boyfriend and his friend. My phone about to die, so I'm going to put it on charger. Okay, little mob, be safe. 20 minutes later, you know, sh I guess shooting and stuff. So, you guys, let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. And, uh, you know, I'm not really interested in the narrative that, you know, blinds me. I think every case should be case by case. And this is still the very beginning, I think. There's a lot more to probably find out and see. But uh, it's not that far-fetched to believe that maybe he did fire back. He definitely had a weapon on him. And uh, we're going to have to wait and see for more. Uh, appreciate the people that reached out to me. It's interesting, too, that some people, you know, they don't want to be identified because they know that they're going to be attacked. Because if it doesn't fit into any kind of narrative that already somebody proposed, uh, they deny it or deflect it or they turn you away or they attack you. But, uh, yeah. Peace.